You're listening to the best local sports show. Boots, bats and balls on Six Towns Radio. Alright, okay, I'm here with Dennis Smith, Stoke City legend, of course. Welcome to Six Towns Radio. Thank you. Uh, so we're down today um, donating kits, equipment, all things like that uh, for community sports, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's for the local leagues, local boys' leagues, uh, the girls' leagues as well. The, as well. The, the Stoke, Stoke City ladies are getting some balls out of it as well. So it's balls, bibs, and you know, things to carry them in, bags to carry them in. Yeah. And you know, it's just Scoba putting some money back into the local football. That's right. I mean, we've had a fantastic summer of sport, haven't we, this year? Um, I mean, how important do you think it is that we're supporting the local community sports and inspiring young people a lot more? Yeah, there's nothing better than having a ball and having a kick about, you know, whether boy, girl or whatever, to get you outside and into the fresh air, just doing something. So you know, the more we can encourage people to do that, the, you know, the happier I'll be. Because football's not always about the, just the professional level at the top, as you can guarantee there's going to be a speech going on behind us. But uh, you know, it's, it's not just about the, uh, the boys and girls doing it at top level, it's at any level, just try to get the enjoyment and get and I'll let you hear this. That's great, thank you. Right, okay, so I'm here with the very, very wonderful Georgie Berry. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, now today, how is how important is it what we're doing down here today? I think it's very important and it's it's the three generations for me. Um, us as ex-players uh, that have enjoyed our time playing for Stoke mm. City and loved every minute of it and and then you've got Andy who's here as a current member and then you've got yeah. the ones below all the children that have come and they're the, they're the future of the football club and it is important that we do that but in saying that it's always been a tradition at this football club when I played here we all had to go into the community and it wasn't because we had to, we were told to it's because we wanted to because the, the, the Stoke on Trent community and the, especially the Stoke City fans were always fantastic so we always em- we embraced our fans and our community and I'm glad to see that that, that tradition is continuing to this day and it, and it is a lot to say for our manager Tony Pugh and our, and our chairman Peter mm-hmm. Coates because they're community people yeah. and it's important that um, we continue the tradition and it's just nice that we've got the three generations Yeah it is, it's such an inspiration for the kids at the moment to have like I say you guys and, uh, and Andy there as well um, it's all about inspiring them and you're providing them with the tools to, to go off now and, um, and achieve what you guys have done and to experience what you've done. It is fantastic just giving them that opportunity, the local talent. I think that's a big thing, it's focusing on the local talent well, it's, as well. It's, it's important for us that we look at our local talent and it's important for us that we embrace that generation. Yeah. And we're the old boys at Scoba and you know we go about our business in the year and we raise money but we always put it back to our local community we put it back into our community and I want to say that the football community the Stoke-on-Trent people and that's why we gave the balls and the bibs and everything for the, for the young league for the toddlers because you know they are the future and, yeah. and it's great to see them and when you, when you see them come here and they come to the football ground and they're in the training facilities and to see their eyes light up is really it's, it's, it's refreshing and it's really nice and they see Andy and they go oh my god Andy Wilkinson and they're actually there stood next and it's like I remember when, it, when, when uh, I was a young and I, and I did it and it was like Jimmy Arfield and Tony Green when I was watching Blackpool and stuff and then and then it became me that they were looking at and then it was and Dennis Smith and, and Terry Conroy and, and all of a sudden now they're looking at Andy and, and there's some of the dads and all that have come up and they've said, oh, remember you when you played and you had an afro and all. So all of a sudden you have that feel-good factor about the place. And, mm. you know, we've been a good hour here and everybody's been happy and, there's, and it's just... And that's what football does. It brings people together and, you know, like I said, the three generations with ourselves and Andy and the kids. It's fantastic. That's great. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing down here today. Yeah, um, the Stoke City Old Boys, they've donated a lot of kit, equipment, kits, balls, bibs um, to the local areas and local teams. And uh, I'm just down here to help them promote it. I mean, obviously, you're such a role model uh, for the kids, and as well, we've had such an amazing summer of sport. What kind of difference do you think this is going to make in inspiring the kids? 
Yeah, definitely. Like you say, it's uh, been an amazing summer of sport with the Euros and the Olympics, and, and obviously inspired loads of kids. And they've they've got to have the the opportunities and the, the facilities to be able to to improve themselves. So hopefully this will help towards it, and we can get local stars. That's great. I mean, you're Stoke's local lad as well, working your way up there. Um, how important do you think it is in supporting the community? Yeah, it's, it's really important. This club's come a long way, and it's it's only right that it should uh, give give stuff back and help the area grow and get get the best out of the potential of the the young young kids out there. So, hopefully, like I say, we can we can get some more. That's great. Thank you.